Dear students, in this session, let us discuss about the measurement of voltage and frequency using a CRO for BSc third semester physics of Mysore University. Before going for the discussion, let us recap what we have studied in the previous session. We have studied about the construction and working of a CRO. We can recall how a signal is applied to a CRO and how the signal passes through different blocks of a CRO and it is also visualized on the screen of a CRO. Following are the prerequisites for today's discussion. Working principle of a CRO Understanding about the functions and controls on front panel of a CRO. Knowledge about reading the display and waveforms on the CRO screen. Let us discuss about the measurement of voltage using a CRO. A CRO can be used to measure both DC voltage as well as AC voltage of the input signal. How to measure a DC voltage using a CRO? So these are the pictures which are showing the front panel of the CRO where we can make necessary adjustments before applying the input signal. Preliminary adjustments are made before applying the signal to be measured. The DC AC ground switch to be kept in the ground. And the selector switch is to be changed to the DC position. Volts per division knob is selected for desired voltage sensitivity of the vertical amplifier to obtain the proper waveform on the screen. Horizontal controls are used to position and scale the waveform horizontally. The oscilloscope screen consists of grids which divides both the horizontal axis and the vertical axis into divisions which will be helpful in making the measurements. These values are determined by two variables, namely the time per division and the volt per division. For the measurement of direct voltage, firstly, the spot is centered on the screen without applying any voltage signal to the reflection phase. Then, the DC voltage that is to be measured is applied between the vertical deflection plates and the deflection of the spot is absorbed on the screen. Since the deflection on the screen of a CRO is directly proportional to the voltage applied to the deflecting plates, hence by reading the scale, the amount of deflection so produced is determined and it is multiplied by deflection sensitivity that gives the value of the DC voltage. Here the deflection sensitivity is nothing but the shift of the spot of the light on the screen per unit change in voltage across the deflection phase. The DC voltage is measured by using the relation DC voltage is equal to vertical deflection of the trace multiplied by voltage sensitivity. Now, we shall look into the measurement of AC voltage. For this, preliminary adjustments are made as explained earlier. But the DC grounds uh, which is to be kept in the AC mode. To measure the alternating voltage of sinusoidal waveform, the AC signal is applied across the vertical plates. 
the volt per division switch and the time based switch are adjusted such that a steady picture of the waveform is obtained on the screen. So if the picture is steady, then only we can measure according to our need. So here you can see a picture of the waveform that is shown on the screen of a CRO. So here the peak voltage and peak to peak voltage are shown that is highlighted on the waveform. Using the graduated scale on the screen, peak to peak height of the input signal appeared on the screen is measured directly. Voltage is calculated by multiplying the peak to peak height with volt per division. From this, we get the peak to peak voltage V0. Then the RMS voltage is calculated and verified with the value that is measured by multimeter. Now, let us discuss about the measurement of the frequency of the input signal. To measure the unknown frequency, one has to essentially measure the period of the signal on the CRO screen. So here the picture shown is the sinusoidal waveform that is shown on the CRO screen. We get a sinusoidal wave on the screen. After the adjustment of voltage sensitivity, band switch and the time-based band switch, the horizontal length between two successive peaks is shown in the figure is noted. So that is the time period. So hence the time period of the signal is the length of one cycle of signal on the time axis in centimeter multiplied by the time per division setting. The time period of a signal is calculated and hence the frequency is determined by the reciprocal of the period. Hence, in this session, we have discussed about the measurement of voltage, that is the DC voltage and AC voltage and also the frequency measurement using the CRV. Thank you.